Alright, so here we go for my second setup of the F1 2013 game. Today we're at Malaysia, and I've just got to say that this track is absolutely fantastic to drive on this game. For some reason, this track just brings out the best in the handling model. You can just throw the car into the corners, and it just sticks every time. It's just absolutely beautiful to drive. So I had a lot of fun making this setup, so let's get straight into it. Now the first thing uh, i got to say is the setup doesn't change too much compared to Melbourne or even F1 2012 to be honest because nothing has really changed all that much so that's the reason behind it so aerodynamics is on 1-1 one, one. Uh, obviously uh, having 1-1 one, one, that, that's the fastest straight line setup and it gets through the corners fairly nicely so why would you go against it next we've got the braking which is supposed to be 49-51 high standard I did have more balance to the front but I found I kept locking up into turn one and a few of the other heavy braking zones so I moved it to the rear and it actually made me quite a bit faster as well and a bit more consistent so moving on to the balance and the front anti-roll bar is pretty low but that's because a lot of the corners around Malaysia are long and fast they uh, tend to wear out the front tires so that's why you gotta have a low front anti-roll bar it gives you better grip so you can get through those long corners a bit better and, and get further into the race on your tires the rear anti-roll bar probably doesn't need to change all that much from track to track so we'll leave that there suspension uh, the ride height stays on minimum just to have the best downforce and the spring stiffness is on 1111 just to give us the best turn in and you know steering response and whatnot I found that the uh, the rear traction or the the wheel spinning isn't much of an issue around here so that's why the rear spring is on 11 so that's fine next we have the gearbox and it's a little bit different to Melbourne uh, I find that Malaysia is a little bit more of a straight line speed kind of track a bit higher speed so I'm kind of maxing out sixth and seventh just a little bit more I could probably make the gearbox a little bit taller but obviously you'll be sacrificing your race pace so it's all about finding the right balance so at the moment I find that's a, a decent gearbox to start off with maybe you guys can uh, give me some improvements on that gearbox if you do find one so I'll leave that at that next we have alignment camber all the way to the left and toe all the way to the right that's not going to change for any track on this game that's just the best setting so that's this setup for Malaysia of course I do have many more setups uh, still to come on my channel for every single track on this game in the dry and in the wet so subscribe if you want to see those and the updates for those if I find any better setups so let's go and see how this setup handles out on track alright so now we can let loose out at Malaysia with the Mercedes car this time I'm testing the two different cars, uh, Mercedes and Red Bull. I'm not too sure which car is better. I'm going to stick with uh, Mercedes for now and maybe try Red Bull a little bit later. So heading up, starting the lap, we've used up all of our curves on the run up to the line and braking for this first corner is so late, it's insane. It's at 100 meter board or 150 meter board. You trail brake it in, shift into first gear late and then shift up to second here, then back down to first and then getting a good exit off this corner. Easy to wheel spin off there, so you just got to manage that on the exit. We're coming up to the first sector split. Let's see if we're up on where previous time. And yes, we are, just by just under a tenth. Uh, so coming through here, the middle sector, this feels really nice through here uh, on this game. You want to take this up here in sixth gear. Take it in fifth if you're not confident. But we take it flat out in sixth just about. Now shifting down to fourth for this double right hander. Get on the power as early as you can here. And just flow the car all the way out to the exit. It feels fantastic through here. Now braking really late just past that marker there. Shifting down into first gear. Watch the wheel spin on the exit. And you'll have a good middle sector. Yes we are. Three tenths up on our previous best. Third gear through here. If you take it through in second you lose a bit of momentum and exit speed. But now coming up to the dreaded penultimate corner. I hate this corner. You just got to get through here, hit the apex, shift into second gear, and then hope for the best. Sometimes you can completely run wide or whatever, but we managed to get through there fairly well that time. Using up about half of our curves on this first straight before braking just after the, uh, the stuff on the right there starts. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we're in second gear, using up the rest of our curves, open the DRS once we cross the line, and let's see what the lap time is. It is a 134.210, just a tenth over, uh, a tenth under our previous best time. So 
fairly solid lap. Once again, it managed to get me on top of the of the leaderboards, but this is only the first day, and I am still, you know, fairly uh, new at the game. So I hope you enjoyed this setup. If you have any questions, of course, uh, don't forget to ask me if you want to know anything about my setups or about going faster on this game. So yeah, if you have any uh, setup requests, like you want me to do a particular track or anything, then let me know and I'll get around to that uh, eventually. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, my setup series. Until my next video, guys, I'll see you next time.